However, this is where the problems started to crop up. Ilyushin noted that the aircraft was experiencing severe vibrations at high angles of attack because of the wing design. Also, the fly-by-wire system would stop working at extreme maneuvers and the pilot would have to take over and try and save the aircraft in time. But the real disaster would strike in 1978. The second prototype crashed with the pilot dying. This put the project into serious jeopardy as the engineers scrambled to find a solution to the high angle of attack floor. During the same year, two additional prototypes were completed equipped with the new AL-31 engines that were designed for the new fighter, but the engineers still hadn't figured out the problems with the controls and those extreme vibrations, causing some critics in the government to demand the cancellation of the program. The Sahoy Bureau had found themselves between a rock and a hard place. After spending a huge amount of money with no results and no solution to these issues, it was very possible that the Sahoy Bureau itself would have to shut down. The future was looking grim. The engineers knew that this was a do or die scenario and they went back to the drawing board for two years to come up with a new, completely overhauled design named the T-10S. This was, in a way, almost a new aircraft. The wings were changed into a trapezoid with the leading edges now completely separated from the wing area to eliminate vibrations during extreme maneuvers. Next, to deal with the angle of attack issue, new control services, flapperons, were added instead of classic flaps. This would allow the aircraft much better roll capabilities and a larger flap surface for takeoff and landing, fixing also that low speed issue. The canopy was changed to open vertically instead of sliding, where the mechanism was much more safer for the ejection of the pilot, something that if they had had with that second prototype, the pilot might still be alive today. The engine placement was also rotated so the bulge of the gondolas would be removed and with it all that additional drag. The front landing gear was also moved some 3 meters towards the back to prevent any debris to enter the intakes whilst landing. And last but not least, two more hardpoints for weaponry were added to the wingtips. Vladimir Lyushin again performed the first flight of the new prototype and the results were much better. But bad luck was not done with this jet yet and the prototype crashed on one of the following flights. While the first was lucky, the second prototype was not, also crashing and then taking the life of one of the best test pilots. So far this program had claimed two lives, extracting a heavy toll. 